it isn't just a grip it and rip it event uh, by any stretch of imagination. My older brother, and he was three years older than me, and we just throw football, just constantly. We run around in circles and constantly throw as far as we could. This is Raleigh Dalzell. He hit those one of these times. He's one of my best friends, probably because we share a same sense of humor. Oh, yeah. Oh. And he's a two-time USA champion in the javelin. You realize I have to use this shot now, because that's just too good not to use. <laughs> Riley uh, actually had committed to playing NAIA football and was an accomplished, matter of fact, uh, I think all-state quarterback, if I remember correctly, yep. and was going to play college football. But then there was a call that he did a change of heart and wanted to know, and I said, well, I'll drive out to Stanley tomorrow, see how things go. And so fortunately for us, he chose North Coast State. I've always been curious as to why Riley chose the javelin over the more sexy sports like being a baseball pitcher or a quarterback in football. Oh, Dude, he threw it into the wind and it still made it to the pitcher's mound. You're like uh, Henry Rollingard. <laughs> so let, let's, let's talk a little bit about all the setbacks he's had. Third year of college, I broke my wrist so I couldn't train. Took a medical red shirt. Senior year, tore my elbow. Had Tommy John surgery. He opened basically with a lifetime best and actually won the competition there, but then it wasn't long after that we found out that he would be done. Didn't get a medical to come back. And then after that it was either back pain, elbow tightness because it wasn't, you know, loosening up like it should have. Most people would call it quits. Oh, my elbow blew up. Oh, I didn't make this team. Oh, I, I guess that's the cards I was drawn and I'm done. For a long time I thought, well, he never got to go to the NCAA championships. He probably want to compete at these big meets. So the only option he has left is the US championships. And he's done that. I thought, well, maybe it'll end when he makes a world team. Well, he's done that twice. And then I thought, well, maybe it's because he wants to be a, a champion of the javelin. Now he's been the US champion twice. And then I finally thought maybe it was because he had an Olympic dream. It's like six feet away from making it to the Olympics. So you, didn't, um, so you got third, you, you had your spot, but you just didn't have yep. the... Yep, yeah, it was right there. It's so close, so close. And then. It's about as close as you can get to becoming an Olympian without being an Olympian. Yeah, exactly. Is there just one thing that's keeping this going? It's still fun. Until it becomes work, I'm going to keep on going. Guys, Riley has one more meet to qualify for his third world championship team. It's this weekend. You guys should go follow him on his Instagram. Send him some well wishes. Life is meant to be experienced, and curiosity will get you there. I will see you guys next time. I wiped my hand full of Tiger Balm on my shirt, not but 10 minutes ago, then forgot and rubbed it right in my eyeballs. <laughs> it's refreshing, but it is, uh, it's gonna sting for a long time. Better than Red Bull. It's really gonna loosen them up real good. <laughs>